You want to sing? Would you sing a, a, a song for me? In the Singing for me is... Um, this is going to sound corny, but it's kind of freedom. <laughs> in a really big way. There's nothing between you and everything else. Fox, and I'm a singer-songwriter from St. John, New Brunswick. I got my guitar when I was 18, but I've started, I've been writing songs since I was probably five or six. I have books and books of songs I've written when I was little, like really dramatic ones, like pulling from all the heartstrings that I didn't actually have. I started playing open mics at the university bars and Writing vulgar joke songs. The more you write, the better you get at writing. And eventually, I started writing about everything. Singing has always been a huge part of my life. I was sung to growing up. My grandmother was actually an opera singer. And my dad, of course, is the one who taught me how to play guitar. He grew up in a family of nine. Um, he's obsessed with Joni Mitchell. He remembers the first day he saw her on the cover of a magazine. And there's a video of him drilling Joni Mitchell into my head as a baby. Drill Joni Mitchell into her head. Joni Mitchell, Joni Mitchell, Joni Mitchell. She's my favorite. Your favorite. And I grew up with her poetry and with her caliber of songwriting, so I think I've always strived to to avoid cliches and to write um, what's real and what's what's in front of me. And hopefully other people can feel from that, from the images that I create. So he's the one who taught me how to play guitar and he's the one who who I think wants this just as bad as I do. <laughs> I decided I was going to go for music. I was I was doing an opera program, and I enjoyed it because I enjoy singing. But it wasn't it wasn't my field. I was told I couldn't sing Janis Joplin, so I dropped out, and I I moved to a different town. And I got myself an apartment, and I could barely play the guitar. And I was just I'm going to work on my music, and and I guess it's proof that if you work if you work hard enough, th things magic can happen. Band. I've toured solo three times, uh, almost coast to coast. I've played CD bars, conferences, open mics, coffee houses, hair salons, shoe stores, my own university graduation. Yeah, it's time to record the next album. Full length. Full length. <laughs> Full length. <laughs> I'm an independent musician, which means that I'm not financially supported by a label. Which means that in order to realize this project, my full-length album, um, I'm, I'm going to need some help. Hence why I'm putting this crowdfunding campaign together. All the money raised in this crowdfunding campaign will go towards the recording, the mixing, and the mastering, and the producing of the 10 original songs that I've created. The session musicians, the duplication of the album, like the creation of the CDs. I'm gonna get it pressed so we'll have LPs, vinyl. So by supporting this project, you're also supporting local promoters, producers, photographers, and local musicians. Duh. So the album that is due to come out in 2020, it's called Green. I've chosen green as a title because green is a word that I use in most of the songs. And green is also a word that, that connotes the environment, growth, being naive. Green is the color of avocados, weed, trees, my favorite moosehead beer. I'm not striving to know anything I don't already. I'm only writing what I know. And I think that is exciting. And that is why 
You should friend my project. Because I think you'll like the songs too. <laughs> and find where you gotta click to donate to my project called Green. <laughs> There's also different prizes below. Read through them. I'm not gonna go through them now because it's complicated. But the gifts are good. If you donate a certain amount, I will even write you a song. You wanna sing? Would you sing a, a, a song? You wanna hear a song? 